Hi guys, Ace of Hearts Fox here. Today I'm going to be reading your anonymous messages from Sarah. Ha. Sriracha? S Sarah, ha. I don't know how to pronounce it. You guys tell me. By the way, this is not sponsored by the app. I just really like this thing. You guys also probably noticed I have my new fursuit now. Yay! I'm still getting used to this thing. Like, everything about it. I was barely able to get the paws on by myself. But look how cute these beans are. Look at those beans! The beans are all silicone, so the, the paws are really heavy, but they feel so comfy, you guys. So let's get started. Let's see. Um, you are valued. You're valued too, internet person. Hello. You are a great fursuiter and really nice and bubbly. I met you last BLFC and I was screaming my head off. I got a pic, but not with my camera, and I wanted to print it out and hang it on my wall. Oh well, have a nice day, Tyler. Aw, well, hi Tyler, uh, well, if you see me at another event, let's take another picture, because that's really sweet, and I want you to have a nice picture to be able to frame. Hi, Ace. Just curious, are you ticklish? So, fun fact, I am painfully ticklish. Like, not even just talking about, like, oh, he's so ticklish. No, this is, like, painful. I'll just completely collapse on the floor. Like, it's pretty bad. So please don't tickle me at conventions. Actually, even if someone's not ticklish, don't tickle them if you're a stranger. That's just weird. I love you, and you are amazingly welcome to anyone looking into any of the numerous communities you are active in. Well, of course, everybody deserves a warm welcome into any community or subculture they're a part of, so I'm glad I could be a welcoming presence for you. I really liked that one band you were trying to do with your friends. I still have the CD I got that one time. You know, that one time. Oh yeah, so for those of you guys who don't know, I used to play in a band. It was called The Bare Bones, and we did a lot of different rock music. I sang and played guitar. It was kind of funny, actually, because the music is totally different from, like, how I express myself typically. Like, usually I just bounce around in a big animal costume and everything's okay. The band was kind of a little more aggressive outlet for anything I was feeling at the time. Anyways, yeah, I mean, I get why the bare bones had to end, but I guess it was fun while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted, and I'm glad it ended the way it did. I mean, me and my friends that were in the band, we're all still friends, so that's kind of nice. Uh, literally, my drummer just got a new opportunity to play for a band that was touring, so... I mean, he's got an opportunity to follow his dreams. Why do you look like Jacob from Twilight? I mean, they're either talking about me being a canine like this, or the fact I'm brown. When I first saw your old fursuit head, I thought it was supposed to be a mouse, because of the mouse's similar snout and the overall gray color scheme. Yeah, that makes sense. Honestly, I've been mistaken for a rat, a mouse, all kinds of other stuff in my old fursuit head. I mean, it makes a little bit of sense. He's got a big nose and kind of a long snout, so I can see where that's a mistake. I love your content, and I wish I could meet you and your lovable trash panda, but I live in NorCal and can't make it to Cali for sad face. Well, friend, if you decide to make it out to Biggest Little Furcon, I mean, that's pretty Northways, so meet us halfway and you can say hi. I still remember when we talked a little bit on Facebook and how much you inspired me to do many things and making it into the drama show a year ago. I am so incredibly thankful for your inspiration. Your expiration getting used to me... I, th I think that's a typo. Made a big impact on my life because I am now the president in my college film organization. So thank you for making a big impact in my life. Well, you're very welcome, dude. I actually remember talking to this guy. I'm not going to say his name because I, I think he wants to remain private because it was a private message. But we actually messaged a little bit back and forth through my Facebook page. I'm really glad to hear that you're still doing stuff, man. It's awesome when people follow up like that. And I'm really happy to be part of something positive that happened in your life. So keep doing you. Is, is that a thumbs up? These paws are hard to move, man. Are you a furry? You seem to answer back to your fans quite a bit, and as fast as you can. I think that's awesome, and your FNAF videos are incredible! Please make more. I know this is supposed to be anonymous, but I care not. Phineas Del Fox. Well, Phineas, thanks for your message, man. I'll be perfectly honest, a lot of my messages fall through the cracks. I wish I could answer every single person back, and I do try to get around to as many as I can. Unfortunately, I don't get around to everybody, but I do as much as I can. There's just so many social media platforms, so if I don't message you back, or if it takes a really long time, I promise I'm trying to get to every single message. Also, as far as the Five Nights at Furries videos go, 
I, I really would like to make more, but to be perfectly honest, I'm kind of tapped out on ideas. I mean, the different Five Nights at Freddy's games are pretty much the same game, so it's hard to do that with a video. It's not like making another game where you can make the same game over and over again. If you make the same video over and over again and make the same jokes, then it kind of gets a little old. So I would love to make more Five Nights at Furries videos, but honestly, I'm kind of just tapped out. But don't worry, I have other video games I would like to make fun of. Hello, I saw your Five Nights at Furries videos, and I was hooked. Even my non-furry friends like them. I'm glad your non-furry friends like something that's kind of furry related. It's kind of cool to have that middle ground. You've got a really positive attitude, and your new channel will go very far. Thanks, I hope so. <laughs> Oh gosh, like, I mean, I, of course I hope the channel will go very far, so, so thank you, I appreciate that. Where do you stash all your cookies? I'll never tell. You're super sweet and caring, man, and I love you for that. You made me feel good about my less than spectacular fursuit head at Calic for 15, and it really boosted my self-esteem as well as made my whole day. I'm sure by now you know who I am, as I've said this many times. But seriously, you keep doing you because you do so much for this fandom and make so many people happy. You and Adria also help me keep my faith in this fandom. You two are living proof that not everyone is bad or other things. Other things. Haha, <laughs> this got long. Sorry dude, stay awesome! I honestly don't know what to say to this one. This is really flattering and I'm really, really happy that uh, we could help boost your self-esteem, especially around something that you obviously worked very hard on. And that goes for all the young fursuit makers and all the new people just starting out. You guys, I've seen so many fursuit heads and so many new fursuit makers popping up and you're all so incredibly talented, so keep doing you. I love your new ace head so much! He looks amazing! You're my favorite fursuiter of all time and you have always been my idol. Like Telephone and Majira are to thousands of people, you are like that to me and always have been. I was so at a loss for words when I got to meet you at Califer and you're such an amazing person in and out of suit. I always aspire to be like you because you're so awesome! I hope you're doing well and I hope I'll get to see you again sometime. Thanks Ace! I honestly don't know what to say to all these messages because a lot of them are just so incredibly sweet. Wally! I've admired you ever since I joined the fandom! Bonus points for the more for less suit. Literally my favorite maker ever. And, I don't know, you're just so genuinely sweet and cool, question mark, question mark. Your dance moves are also on point, LMAO. Honestly, I don't even know what to say to most of these messages, because you are all so incredibly sweet, and I'm still trying to get used to moving around in this fursuit, so I'm sorry if I seem a little awkward movement-wise, but I'm trying to practice with this thing. I know this is super cliche, but actually hearing all these messages really motivates me to want to create more content and be able to upload more to YouTube. So thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. If you guys want to send me any other messages, then I'll go ahead and put a link to my Seraha. Man, I don't know how to pronounce that thing. You don't even have to download the app or anything, you can just click on the link down in the description and that'll take you to a page to send me an anonymous message. And on that note, I'm also doing a Q&A video, so go ahead and pop some comments down below and ask me anything you want. And your question could end up in my next video. That's all I got for you guys today, so thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm Ace of Hearts Fox, and I'll see you all in the next video. Pssh.